and we back today we're taking another trip down memory lane last week i dropped a video of me rebuilding the team on every single 2k in existence literally was an hour and a half video and it was it was fire and y'all really enjoyed that we're taking another trip down memory lane because if we being honest with each other 2k21 is trash and especially around here where we do a lot of my league stuff 2k21 is really really trash at least it's the next gen we don't know what that's gonna be about so the trip down memory lane had us playing 2k which was fire but if y'all remember, and some of y'all won't remember because some of y'all wasn't even born yet, 2K wasn't always the dominant NBA-related game. NBA Live had the stranglehold on 2K for the first half of the 2000s. I know it's hard to believe because the last time Live dropped the game, it was trash. It was bugged. It was bad. The players didn't even look like players. It was real bad. But I promise you, back in the day, Live was the place to be at. If you were playing a 2K game, people were looking at you like... What's up, bro? You need to hop on, on the sticks on live. So I decided to see which version of NBA Live do people believe is the best, and I'm going to go play it. So I went out and found an article by The Gamer. This is a list that says these are the eight best and the seventh worst basketball games. So what I want to do is I want to play the best game on here, and I should also play the worst. Let's see what they're trying to say. All right, so the best game, number 15, NBA Street Volume 2. Best believe you're going to see me play this game soon. I ordered it. We just waited for it to come in the mail. 100% love this game when I was a kid. Next, the worst, NBA Live 06. Oh, snap. Maybe that was the start of the downfall to NBA Live. Then we have 2K17. Cool, 2K17 is a good game. Worse, Slam City with Scottie Pippen. No idea what this is, but I'm intrigued. I may have to order that one too. NBA Live 2000. I'm not going that far back. And then we get to like current stuff. NBA Live 14, one of the worst basketball games ever. It was just objectively a bad video game. People that were trying to make this the real deal was just trying to be different for no reason. This game was trash. They had NBA 2K11 as the fifth best. So now I'm trying to question, I'm starting to question that credibility, y'all. Fifth best? It got to be top three. Oh, 2K1. We played 2K1 recently, but you had to aim the sticks at the free throw line. Okay, I would probably put 2K11 above that personally. Worse, double dribble. Uh, yeah, best believe, I'm not going back to play this. What is, what is this even on? What, th this is handheld? I don't know. But what they're saying the best basketball game of all time is NBA Live 2, oh, I almost said 2K5, NBA Live 05. And I found NBA Live 05 for a whopping $4. They had to let you know. It says $4 here. It says $4 here. It says $4. They had to let you know. When you went up to the register, don't question how much this game costs. We told you three times. So yeah, today we're playing this game. Again, I, I've played this game before. This game came out 2004, so I haven't played it in 16 years. Because, I mean, when a new basketball game comes out, you don't go back to the old one. So, I have played this before. I'm going to see if I can remember some of the things once we load it in. As always, be sure to leave a like on the video. I'm not giving y'all a go today. Let's just go ham on the like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. We drop, I was going to say 2K related, but now we're just seeing NBA basketball related videos all the time. And we're on the go to the road to 1 million. And I've never told y'all to do this before curious how it's gonna go hit that bell you never miss a video i know a lot of y'all already know the game but some of y'all aren't so hit that bell and you'll never miss a video oh snap so i'm looking at the back of this game slam dunk contest three point shootout this is the first year that they had that so best believe we're playing those two game modes 100 as a as a guy that does like the my league rebuilding teams we'll take a look at franchise a little bit look at some rosters and everything we gonna hit every aspect of this game at least that's the plan so main menu wow this is about to be amazing you got play now game modes uh these are the game modes you do have dynasty mode which is interesting i, I want to hit every aspect of it because on the back of this it says slam dunk contest three point shootout take it to the air and block shots was that was, were you not able to block shots before 2005 <laughs> why is that like a feature we should be putting on the back of our game either way as a guy that does love his might, my league, I do want to go out and look at the rosters and stuff. They have a stat central. Let's take a look at some rosters. Um, how? Okay, looking at rosters, they were not generous whatsoever. The rating system is completely different than what me and you know in 2K21 at this moment. There's no 40 overalls in 2K21. Live had it different. Like, bro, you're just trash. Who's the worst player in the game? Now, 35? 35 overall. 
I can look at this guy's stats. He was undrafted, seven-year pro, nicknamed Yogi. This is actually kind of cool. I can see nicknames. I can see, you know, everything about them right here, right now, and their season stats. Wow. Interface-wise, this is not this is not bad whatsoever. Then it shows me their rating. This guy got a zero three-point rating. See, 2K is being too generous. Because even if you've never hit a three-pointer before, 2K is going to be like, the lowest you can go is 25. Live is like, cut it out. If you can't shoot, you can't shoot. Zero. If you can't make a free throw, 12%. If you can't even hit a normal field goal, 22. Steals. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, he's a big man. He's a power forward. So, okay, he can block some shots and stuff. Can't pass. He ain't got no awareness. None of that stuff. Interesting. Can't dribble. Hand Hardy. Hardy? What is that? So this is the weakest player on a NBA roster right now. Yeah. And this is the first year of the uh, Charlotte Bobcats too. So this team is actually really bad. First year? Maybe second year. Either way, this team is really bad. Who is the highest overall? Because they didn't really play. Omega Okafor came in as a 70. I'm, I, my dumb self is like Anthony Davis, Antonio Davis, LeBron. LeBron's only an 83, but he's, he's a sophomore year. It's only a sophomore year. So who is the best player in the league at this point? Dirk is only an 85. Carmelo's the cover athlete, and he's only an 80. Yo, they were just not, they weren't giving out high overalls, which is cool. I like, I, I do like that. T-Mac is a 90. Oh, T-Mac is a killer. I mean, y'all means an 80. All right, I got to find Kobe. Kobe was a 94. The Mamba. The Mamba just on in a league of his own. Literally, in the league, of, nobody's even close to this. Shaq is still a 92, though. Shaq is still doing his thing. Young Dwayne Wade. I think those have to be the KG. Oh, my God. A uh, 97? Kevin. Kevin. Just, all right, he, he now that is 100% going to be the highest overall player in the game. So this was the year that Steve Nash won his MVP. So this is before his MVP blossom, and he's only a 75. So I wonder what his rating was for the next year's game. Because uh, right now, 75 is like, wow, that guy ended up winning MVP? He sure did. But in the all-star roster, KG is only a 94. Sam is a 69, which is, is nice, but... The man was an all-star, Brad Miller? Come on, man. But why are the overalls different on these rosters than their, their actual? I don't know. Maybe, are we accounting last year? I don't really know how it works. I don't know how it works. They have like 50s all-stars. Bob Cousy, the 50s trash. These are your all-stars? 62 overall all-star? And that's a, that's a NBA legend. That's a Hall of Famer. This is a Hall of Famer, Bob Pettit. 66? Then you got the big old, big Will, mm, 94, 94. Bill Russell, they like, ah, Bill Russell, you're, you're below, you're good, but you ain't good, good. Seven, I mean, you're talking about a guy that a lot of people have his top 10 of all time. Then we get to the 70s. And yeah, these, these ratings are not being generous. Their best player is Pistol Pete, but he ain't even cracked the 80 overall mark, bro. They just, just really wild. And Bill Walton's the 12th man on the rotation. He low key, one of the best players overall wise. And then we get to the eight, oh, the 80s are stacked. Larry Bird, Julius Irvin, Magic Johnson, Clyde Drexler. All of these guys are, are really, really good. And then Dominique Wilkins, the 12th man for some reason, 82 overall. The 90s should have a, ha have it all. Where's... Did Michael Jordan not give his rights? Michael, I don't think Michael Jordan gave his rights to live to put him in the game. <gasps> I know for sure he didn't. So yeah, he dropped out of the, the licensing agreement during the Sega Genesis days. And then even right here on the Xbox, he still didn't, didn't get back into it. I mean, later along the lines, he did. And I, now I vividly remember, like, the time he was the cover athlete of 2K, it was a big deal because he finally signed his rights over to him. But now it's time to get to the All-Star Weekend. I need to see dunks. I need to see it all. But, I mean, if you're going to advertise it, All-Star Weekend, that's what we got to play. So forget the rookie challenge. That's trash. Go straight to the three-point shootout. Let's see if I can... Oh, here are our shooters. We have Rashawn Leonard, Peja, Steve Nash, Rashad Lewis, Allen Houston, Ray Allen, Brent Berry, and Riggy Miller. Ooh. And you can actually hit Y and it'll give you random shooters. No, 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 no. I don't need a random shooter. I want to pick my shooter. Who is somebody they forgot about? Luckily for us, it tells me their rating. So let me go find another dude. 
All right, y'all. So there's a reason they had these players up. I switched out and put Larry Bird in because he had like a 95-3. Everybody else is like, these are the highest three-point shooters in the game. Um, and I want to I wanna be Ray Allen. What, what can I say? I do want to be Ray Allen. If I'm going to have a three-point shootout, I want the best of the best. And Ray Allen is that. Larry Legend. I just want to see a couple seconds of every single player. I mean, Larry Legend historically put up some crazy three-point shootouts. So I just want to see if he can mimic that in this game. Ooh. Ooh, he got that slow release, but he wetting it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah, I shouldn't have put Larry Bird on here, bro. This man is about to go perfect. He's not He's not going to. Oh, he missed one. He missed one. Thank God. Because at this rate, he was about to go insane. He finished with only 16, bro. He started off perfect. Then he just got cold after that. Cool. Next player is who? Pager. I wonder if everybody has the same jump shot. Or are we at the point where we can, like, customize jumpers? Let's see. How much different is this going to be than Larry Bird's jump shot? Not different at all. Okay. Pager, 19. He had every money ball. That's how you do it, Pager. Steve Nash goes almost perfect. Literally missed the money ball. The one money ball on his first rack and then went perfect for the... Oh, my God. I'm getting eliminated. Rashad Lewis, 18. Okay. Ricky Miller, 16. Yikes. Brent Barry, 16. Is it my turn? It is my turn. Okay, so I got to pick up the ball and shoot it. You know, it's not like those other games where you have to, like, it just picks it up for you. Okay, here we go. Green. Green. There he is. I found it. I found it. I found it, y'all. We, we missed the first one. We not missing it again. We not missing it again. Listen, I don't upload part gameplay, but I know once I find a jump shot, it's over with. <laughs> it's over with. Ray Allen. Ray Allen. I mean, it does help that I have literally, like, a top two shooter of all time. But I, I legit think I'm just getting... I'm getting green releases. I'm releasing it the same every single time. <laughs> oh, my God. I missed that one. Oh. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Okay, okay. At the, for the last shot, should I try to break... Well, I wanna, I'm going to beat Steve Nash. Because he missed the money ball. I just missed a random one. I'm beating Steve Nash real quick. Count him. 29. Out of 30. I missed the first shot and didn't miss again. Woo. T-Mac. He had 20. Sheesh, T-Mac. All right, so we advanced. Oh, it's, it's only me and Steve Nash. I, th I, I thought more people were going to advance. It's literally just me and Steve Nash left. Okay, and I have more than him. There's no way he matches 28, right? 26 he missed two money balls he is the greatest shooter ever apparently all right i'm probably gonna miss the first shot again and then get back on it because i that's just the way it works pick up the ball that's off oh i found it y'all i found it y'all do we go per do we go perfect i hit i hit that was a full white the one that bounced around it wasn't on that this is come on I, again it could be just because of the game or I might just be this nice. I'm comp and NBA Live 05. It's a fact. It's a fact. I'm comp. Who's trying to run these wagers, bro? Who's trying to run these wagers on live? Only thing is, I have to have Ray Allen. That's just the only thing. I have to have Ray Allen. That's game, boys. Count it. We about to break the record. Ray Allen. Ties him. No, I sold. I sold the perfect score, y'all. I sold the perfect score. Literally, the second to last shot, I choked it. I choked it. That's an L. And then I don't care that you're raising a trophy, Ray. We just called an L because we didn't get a perfect 30 30. Overall. Kind of a W. I'm just, just got to say, kind of a W. I understand. Now we move on to the dunk contest. They got Jason Richardson, LeBron James. We never got LeBron in a dunk contest, so this is cool. VC and T-Mac. I'm not going to change it, but I'm curious. Like, Jason Richardson dunk is a 99. T-Mac, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no reason to change anything. I think they got the perfect ro roster out there. Ooh, Desmond Mason, but that's not a big enough name. KG's a big guy. Richard Jefferson. Hmm. Okay. All right. I mean, it shows every team's best dunker, as you can see. Literally. 
nobody from the 50s and 60s can dunk. It was against the rules. <laughs> Julius Irvin, Scotty, Manu, AK-47, and the free agents, DeMar Johnson. I think I'm... I, I gotta play with LeBron here. I'm playing. I'm. I'm picking LeBron James. Look at the introduction. Sheesh. Jay Rich. It's gonna be hard to be Jay Rich, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Jay Rich was a dunking machine. All right, let's see what Jay Rich got, man. For his first attempt. I didn't even go to dunk school, so I don't even know controls. The other, the three point shootout was just like press X, hold X. Off the top of the backboard. Oop. A whole arm in? If that ain't a 50, if that ain't a perfect score. Yo, that's. Oh, oh, oh. no, you're not. We not beating that, bro. I should have just went with him. I should have just went with him, bro. This, there is no beating that. Show me the 50s. If you don't get a 50, this game is rigged. It really is rigged because that is the perfect dunk. Tens, it is tens. Sheesh. All right, next. Who's next, man? Is it me? I think I'm next, and I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Sophomore year. Okay, how do we? Oh, literally. I don't know. Oh, here's the controls. Okay. So. Um. Toss the ball with that. What? Do I need to go to school? I think. Okay, okay. So I know how to throw a lot to myself. I think we have to go to dunk school, y'all. I think we. Yeah, I gotta go to dunk school. I I gotta I gotta watch the tutorial. I mean, there is a reason why dunk school is a thing. I mean, bro, why is there so many stages, bro? Why is there so many stages? Legit though. I don't know if I can sit through this. Hey, dunk school sucks. They don't tell you how to do anything. I just watched the tutorials and was in there for like 10 minutes and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Advanced? I get I barely got past the beginner. Okay? I barely got past the beginner. So I'm I'm going back to the dunk contest. And basically, I'm gonna get eliminated in the first round. But you know what? I'm cool with that. You know what? Let's just see. We saw what Jason Richardson was doing, bro. <laughs> Let's just watch all the other people perform stuff because it ain't me. I ain't got it. Because he, he killed his first one. It was like a behind the back, off the top of the backboard, then the between the legs. He did every... He did every... That's cool. That's all right. It won't, the first one he did was way better. Yeah, yeah, this ain't a perfect, this ain't a perfect one. No, no, no. He should have redid it. I kind of screwed him over because I suck. You know, I, I was bad at it. And again, I only got to beginner school. So let's. Ten out of ten. Give me my tens. Give me my tens. I'm getting eliminated, aren't I? I pulled into it doing layup line dunks, and they like, nah, bro, what is you on? This is why LeBron really ain't never been in the dunk contest, because he would have did the same thing. All right, let's see the other dunks from Vince Carter. You know Vince Carter's got something crazy up his sleeve, bro. You know he got something crazy up his sleeve. Oh, it's the same thing we just saw from Jay Rich, but this time he did a windmill to it. All right, I'm not built for this. These guys are built, these guys are built different. That's probably a nine across the board. Ooh. Ooh, the judges are kind of kind of tripping. All right, let's see one more dunk, and we'll move on. Dunk contest, 100% not for me. Who we got? T-Mac. Oh, T-Mac about to pull off something ridiculous. Let's go, T-Mac. The one leg sleeve. I'd love to see the accessories right. Ooh, between his leg, off the top of the backboard. Between the leg. How? How do they expect me to beat that? With my thumbs. That's a 10. That's a perfect 50. Thank you. Yeah, okay. For this round, T-Mac won. Now it's time to take a look at Dynasty Mode. 
Welcome to NBA Live's Dynasty Mode. Now, you are about to take control of an NBA franchise and begin a 25-year dynasty. Over the course of Dynasty Mode, you will have full control over roster transactions, player scouting, and team training. The ability to manage these areas well are your keys to success. Ultimately, your job security depends on winning. Good luck. All right, job security depends on winning. Yeah, this is actually really cool because it told, tells you the team info. Like, hey, this team, uh, this team likes to play it inside. What is the team that plays it from the outside the most? Nowadays, everybody's sliders would be all outside. But like, oh my God, my Bulls has they had no shooters. Sheesh. All right. Um. Who, who won the championship in 2005? Greg Popovich's Spurs. We're not doing a rebuild as of right now. But I will say, if you want to see a rebuild, spam the like button. I didn't just buy this NBA Live. It's going to look bad. I'm, I didn't just buy this NBA Live. I bought them all. So, you know what I'm trying to say. Welcome to the start of the 2004-2005 NBA season. All NBA teams are now allowed to start training camp. Enter training camp. Nah, I'm going to say just simulate it. I'm just going to say simulate it. If I'm not mistaken, Dynasty franchise mode on this was leagues ahead of 2K. Leagues ahead of 2K. Owner is hitting me on my... What is this? Pager? I, I'm not I'm not even old enough to know what a pager looked like. So is this a pager? Because it's kind of like an email. But then Because the, I don't think pages did that. This is actually really cool. Here are all the free agents we have. Tony Parker is going to be a free agent this offseason. And then it shows like, man, Ray Allen gonna be a free agent, B. You may wanna hop on that, hop on that thing. They whole roster. This is like the whole roster is gonna be a free agent. Uh, GM history. We ain't done anything. We ain't won a game. We ain't lost a game. And we don't have a rating yet. What type of trades? Oh, what type of free agents are out there? You know, I love me some free agents. The best guy is Alonzo Mourning, who is super old, and he's asking for six million. That's six million we don't have. Dynasty development training. Dynasty extras. What is that? Or if I have points, I could be like, hey. Uh, this would increase the team's rebound and rating by two for the next game. Oh, it's at a game-by-game -game basis. Or it could go for the next five, or for the next ten, or for the entire season. Wow, that's actually... 2K! This game came out 15 years ago. How is this not a thing? Scout report, here are the incoming rookies. Hmm. I would like to focus on his athletics. Tell me about him athletically. Tell me about this guy's offense and tell me about this guy's defense. All right, I'm expecting us to be good because this team did go on to win a championship in real life. And you can intervene on simulation. So it's kind of like a little, a little simcast for every game. I could just see the... Pretty cool. I could just kind of see like, hey, oh, snap. We should win this game too. That's really cool. I mean, I'd probably... I'd probably get kind of sick of it eventually. But it's a little cool thing. It's, it is very, very cool. So our team is undefeated at the moment. I say our team. I'm not actually doing anything. I'm not doing a single thing. I'm just kind of taking a look at what things really are like. Um, I need to check my phone. Where's my phone? This is the phone thing. We have an injury. Who is it? Brent Barry. Broken toe. Two weeks. Got you. Where's our scouting team? Yeah, our scouting team ain't back yet? I want to see what the scouting is like more than anything in the world. All right, I've just been simulating. And one thing I noticed is that our team is uh, thir 12, 13 and 2. I'm sorry, I just messed things up. We just lost that last game. The team is incredible. But again, this is the team that did go on to win the championship. Scouting is still not done? Yo, what's up? What's up with the scouting team? Season ended and it didn't finish the way it started? Uh, I don't know. Big injuries. A lot of stuff could happen in the interim while I was simulating. Uh, but I'm not, again, I'm not here to go super in depth with it. If y'all want to see that, then of course uh, I told y'all we, you know, you know, saying yeah, to drop, you gotta drop them likes. I just hope that we can win a championship because I kind of want to see what the championship animation would look like more than anything. Simulate. We're up 2-0, which is a good thing. If you did, if you, if you were aware or you weren't aware, being up 2-0 kind of a big thing you know kind of go up 3-0 team it is just the hornets i think there might be still the hornets in 2005 i don't think it's the new Orleans pelicans i think it's the hornets like we're talking chris paul and them and they got swept get out of here we're going against memphis who were the seventh seed that beat up on the two seed all right, all right. it is what it is man it is what it is denver advances i do like this where we kind of go back and forth back and forth to see india advances toronto advances and the new york and i see the other team 
Who was it? And Cleveland. Uh-oh, LeBron. Early playoff success from LeBron James. Oh, my God. LeBron ain't messing around to make it to the finals. Like sophomore year, LeBron. They're 3-0 going to the conference finals probably. It's 2-2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm down. Um, LeBron, don't choke that 3-0 lead over there, buddy. He did it. LeBron made it to the conference finals. I did not. Uh, the seventh seed just whipped our butt. They beat up the two seed. They beat up the three seed. And now I'm just curious to see if LeBron's going to win a championship. Because if that, that would be crazy if year two LeBron could win a championship in NBA Live. But I think Toronto and Vince Carter and them might do it. Toronto versus Sacramento. Wow. Sacktown. Oh. I think they, yeah, that was about as easy as it can get. About as easy as it can get. Okay, congratulations to them. All right, that's the end of that for me. NBA Live 2005 W. I had, I had a lot of fun playing it for as long as I did. I think that their dynasty mode has a lot of potential that like untapped potential that I need to get into and make a document and send it to Ronnie 2K and say, this is what we want for my league 2K21 next gym. Yeah. Or they could just call my phone and you know what I'm saying? We can make things work. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Let me know if you want to see more games or any other games. I know, like I said earlier in the video, NBA Street is coming. But what are some other throwback NBA games we can play? Let me know. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.